So the other day I logged into this website. Um, it's a company that I'm somewhat familiar with. I'm not going to say who it is at this point. Um, and it's a website that's primarily geared towards family and kids, and they have a bunch of stories, that audio stories you can download and videos and stuff for your kids. Actually, you can't. You can stream them on the website. Um, and normally, you know, they charge for it, but they have a 28-day free trial, and I tried that out. They didn't ask for a credit card, and I just gave them my junk email account, and I was able to get in. So, of course, I go there, and I go to the, you know, the audio section, and I want to be able to uh, download these audio files so I can listen to them in the car with my kids. And as I said, they allow streaming on the website, but they don't have a download link, so of course I open up the developer console in my Brave browser, and I look at the network stuff, I try to load the audio file, and yeah, I was able to get, you know, the, the AUG, they had both uh, MP4s and AUG files, or M4As, I actually think they were for the audio files anyway. That's not the issue. The issue is the second I open up the, the console, and I scroll down on the page, comments started loading. So this, in, in this on this website, you can listen to these audio stories, and then the kids can, can post comments and talk back and forth. Not a big deal. You know, they have these little cartoon avatars. They don't, you know, look like kids, and they have their screen name, but not their real names, except in the console, when it passes the comment information, right before, before I even found the MP3 or AUG files that I was looking for, I saw something that said comments, user data, in a JSON format. When I click on that, it listed all the user comments that loaded, it had all their user information. I mean all their user information. It listed uh, their real first and last name, their email address, their birth date, the, uh, when they created their account, last time they logged in, their account number, which I don't even know what, if there's anything I could do with that. Um, what else? There were a few other things, but that, the big thing is, like I said, this is a website for kids. It also listed whether they were marked as a parent or a child. I'm talking, anybody can log into this site and get someone's birth date, first, last name, and email address. So, of course, you know, never would I let my kids, you know, conversate on a website like that to begin with. But that is really, really bad for a website geared towards kids. I'm talking something like, and that's, again, why I'm, one of the main reasons I'm not going to say the company's name, because I don't want predators going over there and trying to contact these kids. Um, but like I said, when they created their account, the date they created their account, last time they logged in, the birth date, first name, last name, email address, and that's just, phew. now again, that's not displaying on the page, but it's being passed from the server to my browser, and the browser's sifting through it and displaying the proper information on the page, but anybody, it's still coming to my web browser, even though it's not displaying on the page. So, of course, I, I email the company. Obviously, this is a mistake. Hopefully it wasn't done on purpose. So I emailed them. This is probably two, three days ago, and I got a response back yesterday. Of course, it's it's one of those. Um, they're going to forward it to their to their IT department. So hopefully they do, and hopefully I mean this is just something that literally they just need to go into their server side script and change what is sent from the server. It should be a very simple fix. So hopefully it gets fixed soon. The email I get back from them and again. This email is not from their IT department. It's from someone at the I guess customer service saying they're going to forward it to the IT department. They're like. Try logging out and logging back in and see if you still see the information. Again, they said they're forwarding it to the IT department, and that's what's important. And hopefully this company takes care of this quickly. Normally, if a company doesn't take care of something like this, I would let you guys know what website it is. But because of, you know, who is on this site, I don't even want to do that. Um, but, of course, I do, you know, I log out and log back in, even though this is a completely server-side issue. My browser has, should have nothing to do with what's being transferred from the server. But... Just to make sure maybe they made a change and me logging out and logging back in, it shouldn't make a difference because it's all server side. But yeah, um, so this is just a message to say, be careful what you let your kids do online. And, and, and again, I'm, my kids haven't even seen this site. My plan was to get the 28-day free trial, grab the files we want to listen to, and listen to them. So hopefully they, they take care of this. And um, yeah, any site you go to, that has private information, you should be looking quickly, at least, open up your developer's console, see what information, and just search for things you might think that are private, your username, your first name, your last name, stuff that shouldn't be displaying on the website, and see if it comes up. And, and of course, if you're logged in as you, it's okay for that information is being passed to you of your information, 
but search for your information and you might find other user information next to it if they're sending it incorrectly. Wherever you are, check what's being sent from a website and to a website or any application. <clears throat> and whenever you're on a network, you know, unfortunately, legally, you, there are certain scans and stuff you're not supposed to do on networks, which make it vulnerable to you because whenever I get on a network, I scan, I see what other computers on there and, and what ports are open and stuff like that to see if anything's monitoring stuff it shouldn't. That's illegal in a lot of places and it shouldn't be. But those are laws made up by people who don't understand computers. If I'm on a network, I should be able to scan that network all I want. If you don't want me scanning your network, you shouldn't let me on your network. S simple as that. And saying you can't scan a network is like saying, oh, when you walk through our building, don't look at what doors are open and closed. I mean, trying to kick down a door is a little different. If I'm trying to break into a, a server or another computer, that's different. But to just look at and see what computers are there and what's going on with them, it's no different than walking through a building and looking at what doors and seeing which ones are wide open and which ones are closed. Again, going up and trying to kick open a door is a little different. If we just treated the computer world like we do the real world, um, things would be so much better. The problem is people who make the laws and the rules usually have no clue what they're talking about and they have no way to correlate it with the real life scenario. So that's it. I thank you for watching and uh, if I hear any updates, I'll, I'll let you know. And, and, and if this website fixes it, you know, good, great, you know, I'll be like, yay, they did it. And, and um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.